Yo, what's going on YouTube? So I'm coming at you guys with uh, a digital painting video, which might be a little bit different from what I usually post, but it might not be. I might actually just create a new channel for this. I'm not sure yet. Either way, I'm here to talk about Coral Painter versus Photoshop. This will be like the fourth time I've recorded this because I'm having a lot of trouble with my audio on my um, new MacBook, I mean, new iMac. And I just think that I bought a really trash a microphone and it just wasn't really working out for me but maybe it's just I don't know anything about sound so I'm gonna have to sort that out because I kind of want to be recording a lot of voiceovers and stuff you know also I'd like to you know I'd like to mess around I've got this new iMac I've got capabilities now I've got you know I can I can make videos and stuff I can probably create some cool content in terms of like creating some fun videos just about nerd stuff like cartoons and stuff like that while I draw I just like to talk about stuff maybe and just, you know, have more videos of just me drawing because I like to see myself draw. I know that sounds crazy, but I just like to see, it's just like, wow, I just drew and recorded it and now I have something to watch. And it's, it's interesting how much video has changed things, like how much video of, of, of actual things, how much having millions of videos of footage every day or millions of, of different pieces of footage every day has changed the world. Because now we visually can see everything, things we could never have seen before, you know. Uh, so it's interesting, because you don't, as an artist, or a drawer, or whatever you'd like to classify me as, you don't really get to see your own process. You just don't, you know. You just do your own process. You just go through the motions. You never really see it. And when you see it, like, oh, I did this. Oh, that's how I did that. Oh. I did that there, oh, and you can you can see your mistakes too, and you can see yourself trying to fix things, and you know, it's weird, because you can't really remember back too much exactly when you was doing this, like, in terms of, like, you can't remember every stroke with the brush, but you can, you can kind of loosely remember what was going on and what was going through your mind. Anyway, guys, so, let's talk about the topic at hand, which is Coral Painter versus Photoshop pros and cons of both and i'm just gonna do it in like a rapid fire sense because i've recorded this video four times and that's the best way to kind of do this so the fundamental difference between these two pieces of software is that photoshop is a complete package for graphic designers web designers and artists of all kinds concept artists illustrators editorial illustrators you know anything guys that want to create pixel art you know, animators even, you know, um, whereas paint art is a software that's legitimately just for painters. It says it in the name. It's not for photo manipulators. It's not for all those people. It's not for animators. It's for painters. It's for painting. So when we get, you know, when we get down to it, paint art, yes, it blows Photoshop out of the park for painting. Um, it blows it out of the park and it's easy. Because Painter has all these really cool built-in brushes. Like everything you see on screen today, I use the built-in brushes. Usually, when I use Painter, I actually just use, I actually make custom brushes, and I did customize them a tiny little bit, but I didn't add any. Like usually, I, I, I go in Photoshop and I steal some of the brush templates and then I import them into Painter. I literally have got this this iMac, this iMac new. Haven't done that yet, so have have done none of that. This this brush I'm using for most of this painting is called the Oil Pastel. And it's just, it just comes the way it is. It's really cool. It has this really kind of opaqueness to it, but then it blends. So it's a great brush for just painting and blocking out stuff. Um, so that's, you know, straight up paint. The difference between the two softwares is one of them is completely and utterly for painting and the brushes are superior. And the blending is absolutely superior. Um, but... Let's not get that twisted. Photoshop is a great software for artists. I use both. I don't just use one. Photoshop has, has got me through for years and years and years. And it's been my main software. Paint has not been my main software. There was a time when I used Painter very prominently. But here's, here's the issue. Painter is too, it blends almost too much. And I don't know if other people have this issue. But to me, I struggle to get a realistic look in Painter. It, it requires too much effort. I can get much more realistic paintings with Photoshop because you can paint with texture brushes and stuff. You can kind of paint with texture brushes in Painter, but they're linked to your papers. 
which is a completely different conversation altogether. Whereas Photoshop, you can have a hundred different texture brushes with different textures on, it's in your library. Um, what I will say is Painter's brush management's way better. Your, your brush library looks better. Where you put your brushes is better. Like I, You see this little window at the right side of the screen next to the color wheel? That is just a few brushes I pulled and put there. So you can just legitimately do stuff like that. You can't do stuff like that in Photoshop. There was a, a few like plugins that allowed you to do that, but Painter could do that. Another thing, Painter comes with a paint a, a, a color wheel and it has for the longest period of time. Photoshop has literally just implemented the color wheel in the latest version. You could have bought a color wheel before, um, but it, that was a plugin you'd have to pay for. This has always been in Painter. Um, so Photoshop's slowly catering more towards its artists and Photoshop's recently implemented the mirror painting thing, um, the mirror painting tool, which paint, which Painter had for a while, since like Painter version 12, because that's how long I've been using. I've been using Painter since Painter 10. Um, and Painter version 12 had the mirror tool, um, which is, I think, God, I think that's like 2010, 2011. And it had a mirror tool to paint on, you know, paint in a mirror. So, you know, it's interesting. But when it, what it comes down to is both of them are incredible. And I've done really cool work in both of them. Um, shameless plug. Instagram is Fiji Draws. F-I-J-I -I Draws. Um, I think F-I-J-I -I underscore Draws. But when it comes down to it, Painter is better for painting if you like stylish painterly kind of images kind of like this i guess this is really just some quick thing i did just for the sake of talking over it but painter is better for stuff like this in terms of like really painterly and loose and kind of really done quickly it took me 37 minutes it should have took less time but i was really bothered about that shoulder and photoshop is better for really realistic stuff with photo texture and texture brushes and interesting marks being made. You can make interesting marks in paint art, it's just not the same. But anyway guys, I've been Fiji, see you guys later. Okay, so for all you art fans, here's a look at the final image. Obviously it's not a final piece, I didn't spend too long on it, but here it is nonetheless. Enjoy, and remember the Instagram is Fiji Draws, F-I-J-I -I underscore Draws. Peace.